The AN FPS 133 Air Force Space Surveillance System, colloquially known as the Space Fence, was a U.S. government multistatic radar system built to detect orbital objects passing over America. It is a component of the U.S. Space Surveillance Network, and according to the U.S. Navy was able to detect basketball-sized objects at heights up to 30,000 km 15,000 nautical miles. The system ceased operation in September 2013. Plans for a new space fence are underway with sites at the Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands, along with an option for another radar site in Western Australia. The operations headquarters were at Dahlgren, Virginia, and radar stations were spread out across the continental United States at roughly the level of the 33rd parallel north. Topic description. There were three transmitter sites in the system. 216.983 MHz at Lake Kickapoo, Texas, 33 degrees 32 minutes 47 seconds north, 98 degrees 45 minutes 46 seconds west, master transmitter. 216.97 MHz at Gila River, Arizona, 33 degrees 06 32 N 112 degrees 01 45 W 216.99 MHz at Jordan Lake, Alabama, 32 degrees 39 minutes 33 seconds north, 86 degrees 15 minutes 52 seconds west. The master transmitter at Lake Kickapoo was said to be the most powerful continuous wave CW station in the world, at 768 kW radiated power on 216.97927 MHz. When the system became operational in 1961, the original frequency was 108.50 MHz just above the FM broadcast band. In 1965 the «fence» system was modernized with the operating frequency doubled to 216.98 MHz just above channel 13 in the VHF TV broadcast band to obtain higher resolution and to locate smaller objects. This frequency was used until the fence was decommissioned in 2013. Fill-in transmitter sites at Gila River and Jordan Lake used offset frequencies listed above from the early 1990s to 2013 to help better detect which transmitter illuminated an object in space, as multiple transmitters could have illuminated the same object at the same time. Overhead imagery see coordinates given above of the Gila River and Jordan Lake sites shows the original design at the lower frequency. There were six receiving stations. San Diego, California, 32 degrees 34 minutes 42 seconds north, 116 degrees 58 minutes 11 seconds west. Elephant Butte, New Mexico, 33 degrees 26 minutes 35 seconds north, 106 degrees 59 minutes 50 seconds west. Red River, Arkansas, 33 degrees 19 minutes 48 seconds north, 93 degrees 33 01 W. Silver Lake, Mississippi, 33 degrees 08 42 N 91 degrees 01 16 W. Hawkinsville, Georgia, 32 degrees 17 minutes 20 seconds north, 83 degrees 32 minutes 10 seconds west. Tatnall, Georgia, 32 degrees 02, 35 and 81 degrees 55 minutes 21 seconds west. The following receiving stations were placed in cold storage in April 2013. Silver Lake, Mississippi, 33 degrees 08, 42 and 91 degrees 01, 16 W. Tatnall, Georgia, 32 degrees 02, 35 and 81 degrees 55 minutes 21 seconds west. The receiving stations at Elephant Butte and Hawkinsville were considered to be high altitude 
Stations with longer and more complex antenna systems that are designed to see targets at higher altitudes than the other four receiving stations. History Author Curtis Peebles notes that the original space fence or space surveillance system began operations in 1959. The system predated the formation of NORAD and was known as the U.S. Navy Space Surveillance System or SPASUR or NAVSPASUR. From 1960 until the early 1990s the system was used in conjunction with a network of Baker Nun cameras that could see an object the size of a basketball at 25,000 miles. The system was formerly operated by the U.S. Navy for NORAD from 1961 until October 2004. Initially independent as NAVSPASUR, it was ran by Naval Space Command from 1993, and finally by Naval Network and Space Operations Command from 2002 until command was passed to the Air Force 20th Space Control Squadron on October 1, 2004. In 2009, the operations and maintenance contract for the day to day management and operation of the fence was awarded to Five Rivers Service. Services, LLC, based in Colorado Springs, Colorado. On September 30, 2011, Five Rivers Services was awarded a $7,022,503 firm fixed price with cost reimbursable line items contract modification to manage, operate, maintain, and logistically support the nine Air Force Space Surveillance System field stations, presumably for fiscal year 2012. Topic. Plans for system upgrade, 2009-2012 The 850th Electronic Systems Group, Electronic Systems Center awarded three $30 million contracts to Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman and Raytheon on the 11th of June 2009, a new space fence is envisioned to be a system of two or three S-band ground-based radars designed to perform uncued detection, tracking and accurate measurement of orbiting space objects. The space fence is intended to replace the Air Force Space Surveillance System, or VHF fence, that was transferred from the Navy to the Air Force in 2004. The shorter wavelength of the S-band space fence allows for detection of much smaller satellites and debris. The February 10, 2009, collision of a U.S. Iridium communications satellite, Iridium 33, and a Russian Cosmos 2251 communications satellite, which added hundreds more pieces of debris to the atmosphere, highlighted the need for more precise tracking of space objects. Data collected from a new space fences sensors would potentially feed into the Joint Space Operations Center mission system, which is used to track objects orbiting the Earth, monitor space weather and assess foreign launches. Used by operators at the 614th Air and Space Operations Center at Vandenberg Air Force Base, Calif, the 614 AOC's 24-hour-a-day, 7-day-a-week support provides vigilance of global and theater operations and equips the Joint Functional Component Command for Space Operations with the tools to conduct command and control of space forces. Plans to award the final contract had been stalled by U.S budget sequestration in early 2013 and the AFSSS system was scheduled to be discontinued in October 2013 due to budget cuts. Topic: 2013 shutdown. On August 1, 2013, General William L. Shelton, commander of Air Force Space Command, directed that the Air Force Space Surveillance System AFSSS be closed and all sites vacated effective October 1, 2013. The main advantage of the system was its ability to provide uncued data on new objects as opposed to tracking objects based on existing information. 
However, the system was also said to be inherently inaccurate due to its dated design. Alternate operating modes for radars at Cavalier AFS and Eglin AFB were devised to fulfill the mission to provide uncued data for new objects. Shelton also noted the confusion between the planned new S-band space fence and the old UHF AFS SS, which was commonly called the space fence. The AFS SS was turned off September 1. It appears they pulled the plug at 0 UT 6 a.m. local MDT on September 1. Reports engineer Stan Nelson, who was monitoring the radar using an antenna in Roswell. The radar's final echoes came from a Russian satellite and a sporadic meteor. The shutdown only affects the original space fence, not the new one contracted to be built by Lockheed Martin for deployment in Australia and the Marshall Islands. Topic: <laughs> New space fence. Plans for new space fence are underway with sites at Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands and an option for another radar site in Western Australia. In 2014 Lockheed Martin won a contract to build a new S-band space fence system. See also Graves, in France Krona Space Object Recognition Station and Krona N, in Russia